Hello there, my YouTube family. How are you? I am Helen Sadler, your destiny helper, coming to you once again, saying hello and thank you. Thank you for all of the subscribers. You are awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you for uh, sharing and liking the pages of the program, sharing it with other people. I appreciate you, value you so much. Thank you for the emails. Keep writing, keep them coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm here on this early morning. Look like it's May snow. It is cold, 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 cold in Seattle. But it is beautiful, busting with energy, mind changing things. And sometimes changing your mind can be very difficult when you are used to a pattern, when you're used to the same thing. And, but in order to progress, you have to change your mind. If the narcissist won't, you must, you will, you shall, you have to in order to move forward. I want to talk to you about an alternate reality. The alternate reality is when we know a truth, but we don't like that truth. And so we dismiss that truth and live in that world because we keep thinking change is going to come. And you've been there for five years. You said it when you first saw it in six months. The mask fell off the narcissist and you said, surely they love me. They're going to change. I know they're going to change. And many of you have prayed, 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 prayed went to church, prayed, 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 fasted, prayed, 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 and then you didn't go to church and you prayed, 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 and then you stop praying, then you start maneuvering, you start manipulating, you start uh, uh, getting ideas of your own to try to bring the narcissist to their senses, that they have such a wonderful person living with them, a wonderful, a wonderful person that they married, a person that really loved them, a person that really can care for them, a person that can really do for them. And then what happened is you transition from your reality to an alternate world and you live in that world. And when you get in that world, you really don't want anybody to tell you anything. Don't tell me about my narcissist. Just let me complain. Now, I can talk to you about him but or her, but I don't want you to tell me the truth about him because I'm not ready to leave them. I just want you to just let me lay and just voice and just free associate all of my problems. I'm not, I know they're not going to change because something in me is dealing with me about this narc. You know what I'm saying? They've been doing this for years, six months into five years, five years into 10 years, 10 years until 15 years until now you have children that are in high school or you have children that are in college or you have children that are left home i mean they left home tried to get in college at 16 because the home environment was so critical and it was so filled with oppression until even the children left the children got out you did not you stayed because you are dealing with an alternate reality. You have built in your mind what you want the narcissist to be. Even though the narcissist has displayed a culture, has displayed a pattern that you've not been able to change in 20, 30, 40, 50 years. And you find yourself locked. You're giving your best years to a situation that may not change. If you don't want change and you want it to stay the same, then stop complaining. Don't call your friend. Don't call your family. You have to handle. You have to build yourself to handle the character of that narcissist. Because why would you complain on something that you don't intend to change? You don't intend to shift it. You don't want to shift it. You want it the way it is. Because at least when they come back, when they leave, they come back. They tr they tr uh, triangulate. They do things and you know they're not loyal. You know they're not faithful. Do you know that you can get transmitted diseases because sometimes, most of the time, most narcissists don't even use protection. Somehow they think that they won't be the one to get contract AIDS. They won't be the one to contract gonorrhea. They won't be the one to contract syphilis or, 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 or HIV positive. They are not going to be the one to get all of these venereal 
venereal diseases and there is a gonorrhea that is more vicious than AIDS and we thought that we could never get a hold of AIDS but there are medications that doesn't cure AIDS but it gives them a longer life and help them to have a better life while they're HIV positive and but when you get this gonorrhea they have not brought that gonorrhea into where it can be curable and people are dying very quickly off of venereal disease and you're taking that risk because you want to live in an alternate reality and what you're saying don't touch my my alternate reality because that has become my truth my lie has become my truth i'm addicted and i don't want to get uh, over this addicted addiction it's like having an alcoholic who has taken so much alcohol until he have cirrhosis of the liver he start destroying himself internally trying to appease what is happening happening eternally uh, internally and so when you try to appease internal hurts internal wounds internal uh, torments and you are trying to do this with out of things going into your body trying to bring in a euphoria uh, uh, bring in an alternate reality but acting as if it's not there conducting yourself as if the narcissist is loving and caring and you're crying every night you've been married for 15 years you've been married for 30 years you never felt love. You never felt that the narcissist was yours. You always felt that the narcissist was ours. O U R S. Ours or yours and possibly mine. So you have him for a time and they have him for a time. And you have her for a time and he got her for a time because a narcissist would not be faithful what they want they feel they have a right to it they feel they have a right to another body they feel they have a right to another conversation they feel they have a right to whatever they have but they do not release the same rights to you there is a double standard and what cultures are built with a lifestyle of continuum when you do things on a continuous basis that is a culture and you bring everybody into your culture and when people start confusing form into the continuum that becomes a, a culture and that's why you can have a nation of people who live like this because the culture was built and everybody that joined that nation came in on this culture you have an alternate reality you have an alternate reality and this alternate reality will play out it will play out what are you going to do next because you will have a reality moment. Don't let that reality moment be too late. Know where you are. Know where you want to go. Know what you want to do. Is life given back to you? How many years have it been? Do you want to continue like that? If you continue like that, you must limit the conversations of complaints. Once the mask come off of the narcissist, let the mask come off of you. You have a right to be wonderful in the earth realm, powerful in the earth realm, mighty in the earth realm. You have so much to give to this life and you only have one lifetime to do it and you have to do it every gift in you has been meant to be in the earth all of your talents all of your beautiful creativity is meant to be right here not destroyed and most of you have went to a shutdown basis you just living you're not living you're existing you're just existing your eyes have this dull far away look in them you notice your skin, you're getting older, and you're younger than the narcissist, but you look older than the narcissist. The narcissist look fresh. You are starting to age. Your dreams, going away. Your ambition, going away. Even though you're working, the dream of the job, the dream of the career. Now you're existing to bring in a paycheck, to pay the bills, to help buy things, to help give money to the narcissist, to help, to help, to help. But the dream of a career is gone. 
the narcissist is not going to let you build. Not beyond them. Not without them. They're not going to let you grow beyond them and not without them. They're not going to allow your confidence. You will have to fight for that every single day. And every single day, they will be back to tear it down. They will be back to tell you why you shouldn't have it. They will be back to tell you to give it up. They will be back to tell you you don't deserve it. Come out of that alternate world and live in your truth, your true self, your true world. The narcissist will never be able to handle the real you. That's how powerful you are. That's how wonderful you are. That's what drew them at first. Now what drew them, they hate. What they wanted in you at first is the thing that torments them now. And you can't give a trade off. There will be no replacement zone. Your beauty for their ashes. Your joy for their complacency. Your peace for their chaos. Your peace for their anger. Your reality for a non-reality. You have a right to live. You have a right to be free. If you don't fight now, you may never fight. Because every day, every week, the energy to fight is costing you more. It's taking more. It's taking more and more to fight. And it seems like the people who are warning you, trying to encourage you, their voices is going. Their voice used to be loud, but now their voice is weak and they get weaker until you can't hear them anymore. You can't hear them anymore because he has destroyed everything. She has destroyed everything. Your dreams just destroyed. Your ambition just destroyed. The energy to do it destroyed. You've taken vitamins, you're taking supplements, you're doing everything. But just as you get energy, it's destroyed. And when you've had enough and you want to leave, love bombing. That love bombing. If, they, if there was a grade, you have to give them an A in love bombing. Because they know how to do that. They just don't know how to sustain it. They are not sustainers. They don't know how to keep what they do what you bring and they don't know how to sustain what they give they give it temporarily because it was never real they give it temporarily because it was all a fake they give it temporarily because they mirrored what you wanted and they fed you what you wanted and the moment you burp because you are full they're moving on to the next specimen and when you cry to tell them how much you love them that's fuel and you notice that when you cry, it seems like it don't touch them. You're like, how could they not be bothered when I'm hurt, when they love me? Because they need the pain, honey. They need the negative pain, that's fuel. They need the, the there's no positive pain. But when you are happy and they join with that happiness to act like they're happy for you so they can build you up because the devaluation is on the way. You will never be without devaluation because they need the negative fuel. They need all kind of fuel, thought fuel. When they know you're thinking of them, that's fuel. Negative fuel. When they done tore you down so bad, they know you're wounded, hurt. They know you feel like it is just disastrous. Negative fuel. Positive fuel. When you get good news and they want to build you up and act like they really care, positive fuel. But every positive few usually cater to them. You tell them how wonderful they are, how beautiful she is, how handsome he is, how he smells good, how she looks good, and it's beautiful. Yeah, they like that. But you see where it went. It went in their head and not got back to your heart. It went somewhere else because the narcissists feel obligated to give themselves away. The alternate reality would never fulfill it's a vapor in the wind but you're not a vapor you are life 
substance. You are powerful. You are beautiful. You have a mind that a computer cannot even compare to. You have dreams and hopes. You have creativity in you. You haven't used it for a long time. And when you look in the mirror, you no longer see you. You see everything you're not. You see that you need to try a little bit harder. You see that you need to do your makeup more. You see that you need to fix your hair more. You see you need to shave your beard, get a beard. It's always something less than what you are. Always. You are never enough and you will never be enough. But the truth of it is you are more than enough. An alternate reality is a terrible place to live. It has no substance. It has no truth. And it'll change once you awake. And once you wake up in an alternate reality, it's tragic. Because for many years, you'll realize you were sleepwalking. And you were asleep. And you don't, not, you don't need to be asleep. You need to be awake. It's your time to wake up. Wake up. Let the alarm clock sound. Deal with it. See what you have. Do you want to be there 20 years from now? Do you want to be who you are, what you are now, 20 years from now? Because if you don't wake up out of this alternate reality, one day reality will hit. And you don't want to be 70 divorcing and trying to start over. Life is huge. Why don't you grab your portion? I'm Helen, and I am your destiny helper. Please, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Push the bell. Every time I do a program, you will be alerted. Please like and share the page. And remember, an alternate reality is not your world. The real world is your world because you got the substance that you need to handle it. I'm Helen Sattler, your destiny helper. I will see you again on my next video. Thank you so much for subscribing.